Language-specific settings in VS Code let you customize settings based on the type of file you're working in. In this JavaScript file, for example, you can see that I've defined two rulers, one at column 60 and one at column 80. And these rulers are only going to be enabled in JavaScript files. So when I switch over to a Markdown file, you can see those rulers are uh, hiding. When I switch over to TypeScript, the same thing is happening. Now with the newest version of VS Code, you can also easily apply language-specific settings to multiple languages without having to duplicate your setting for each of those languages. Let's take a look at doing that. So I'm gonna open up my settings with Control comma or Command comma on Mac, and I'm going to go to the settings JSON file by clicking on the little icon up here. Language-specific settings do currently have to be edited in the settings JSON file. You can see here is my current language-specific setting that is adding the rulers. So the way language-specific settings are defined, you're using brackets and then the language identifier, and then inside the body of the JSON object here, you're defining all the settings that you want. So in this case, we're targeting JavaScript. Now, if I want this setting to also apply to TypeScript, one option would be to just duplicate this entire block and then change the JavaScript to TypeScript. But then I would have to maintain both of those. That's not great. So instead, I'm gonna actually go and edit the setting identifier here. And right after JavaScript, I'm gonna add brackets and then TypeScript. And now this setting is going to apply to both JavaScript and TypeScript because it's all on a single line. So I'm gonna save that setting, switch back to my JavaScript file. You can see that the rulers are still defined here. When I switch over to the TypeScript file, you can see the rulers are also showing up over there now. But when I switch to a Markdown file, the rulers are hiding. So just with a single setting, you're able to go and apply to both JavaScript and TypeScript files while leaving the other files unaffected. Again, the syntax is that you are just using brackets surrounded by the uh, language identifier name, and you can list as many different language identifiers as you want. And any settings inside the block here are going to apply to all of those languages. So that's a look at how you can apply language-specific settings to multiple languages with VS Code.